Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. By now, a bunch of you have probably taken the dive and upgraded to Windows 10. And uh, we've done it on a couple of our computers now. I know we told everybody to wait, but, uh, you know, we're the researchers. We have to do this stuff for you so we can show you whether or not it's worthwhile and what to look out for, if there's any problems, any bugs. I have had a couple of people call me, tell me their screen started flashing upon the completion of their install. And uh, we have figured out a way around that. It looks like you can disable Windows error reporting and it stops your screen flashing. What it looks like is uh, Explorer crashes in some of those installs. Not too many, but uh, once in a while. If you disable uh, Windows error reporting, it appears to resolve that. And I think there's an update after that which will fix it. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't had time to look at it and haven't seen too many of them. So I haven't done a lot of research. Anyway, um, Again, uh, the Windows 10 is going to have a new start interface, much better than Windows 8 with that whole page, although a lot of people have become accustomed to the Windows 8 interface, that whole page of icons. It's really not awful. I don't like it, but a lot of people are uh, digging it, and it works. So uh, Windows 10, of course, comes up with this new integrated menu, as Egbert shows us here, where you have tiles on a start menu. And then uh, you can kind of jiggle around and move these things around and make them smaller by right-clicking on them. And making them large or wide or super. Or you can actually uh, take things off of here that you don't want. Oops, I just took Edge off. And Candy Crush, what the heck is this doing here? And then you can rearrange them and put them wherever you want. And nice thing you can do, you can actually drag them to your desktop now, which I was really mad about before. In the um, demo version, you couldn't do that. Now you can. Thank you, Microsoft. Some of us like a bunch of clutter on our desktop. It's how we stay organized, ironically, but, you know, to each his own. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is the people, the geniuses at Stardoc, they feel like they're like the bad kids at the party, the hackers that are always trying to mess everything up. Windows 10 and Microsoft got this big, great thing together. Hey, we figured it out. We put the start button back, and everybody's going to be happy. So Stardoc, what do they do? They create a new start button for Windows 10. There it is. Looks just like the Windows Vista, Windows 7, and the uh, Start 8 menu that they had for uh, Windows 8 and 8.1. So there it is. All your stuff in a nice, neat little... Uh, <laughs> compact i'm laughing because uh i'm sure that well i'm sure microsoft expected this but it's five bucks it's 4.99 you get it at stardock.com i should pull up the website they have a lot of really neat utilities there at uh stardock let's see if i can pull them up here you can do this on your own too and check them out you can actually create your own icons on some of this stuff here and uh we've got this object desktop which you can do some really neat stuff for your desktop if you want to finagle things around if you're really that type of person and this multiplicity is pretty neat the modern mix a lot of people are using fences has been around i think since xp a lot of people digging that then you got window blinds uh launch eight which looks like the mac launch bar and all kinds of really neat stuff so check them out if you have a star doc and also their uh, software is very very fairly priced very inexpensive for uh what they offer so that's pretty neat too so, and we've got themes, too. I'm going to check this out and check out some of their themes. Actually, going back to the, uh, I can't remember what that company's called, After Dark or something with the old screensavers and themes and all that weird stuff. Back in the day, you kids probably don't remember that. But anyway, so what's really cool is you've got the old start interface. Now, what's even cooler, <laughs> I'm not, probably not supposed to do this, but if I could get back in there and configure start 8, I could show you. Hey, where is it? Uh, you know, I got to dig it up here. If I right click on this, I got to find the start eight interface here. Star doc, start 10. Oh, start 10. I'm sorry. I keep calling it start 10. Uh, if you right click on it, it's supposed to bring up the configuration. In this case, it didn't. But uh, what's really neat about this is you can uh, change things here. You can change the default theme. You can make the rounded windows seven style if you want to go back to that if you're forced into buying a computer with windows 10 i want to tell you that you have options you can bring it back to uh the windows that you're more familiar with or happier with or whatever i'm just going to change some colors here and what's really neat here is that uh you you're not supposed to have these but uh, if you have an original version of start eight you can import these buttons by just dragging them into your program files x86 folder 
and then you can pretty much make your start button whatever you want. And look at that. The irony of having a Windows XP start button in Windows 10 is just phenomenal. So that's what I'm going to go with here. And you got your old start menu back. And uh, it's just another alternative. If you're stuck in a Windows 10 situation, if you need to replace your computer and you're not happy about going to an unfamiliar operating system, if you came up in the last 15, 20 years like a lot of us did, this gives you a little bit more familiarity and get your control panel. And basically everything looks pretty much the same as it did in Windows 7, a few new icons and a couple of new bells and whistles. So Start 10 is available now. Um, free upgrades. It's five dollars. Is Stardock.com. You can buy it online with a credit card or a PayPal account, and it installs in a minute. It's very small. I think it's twenty megabytes or something. So, um, please leave your comments and uh, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And my name is Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinics Tip of the Day.